Sitting here, we're watching the glitz of Joey Logano win the Daytona 500 in 2015. And very understated, he says, mm, that, that was a good day. I mean, like, I'd say it was a pretty good day. You've had a few others that were pretty good as well. Uh, I've welcome. had a few bad ones here, too, though, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. Every, everyone has. Okay, that takes me to, did you know you're the only driver to start the Daytona 500 at age 18? You're first in 2009. Do you, do you ever reflect back to that day? I uh, had a moment actually earlier to talk about this because I remember such a cool moment walking out onto the grid. I, was, I walked out there with my dad, and you see your car on the grid with your name on it for the Daytona 500. Like, a big deal, right? And I thought, you know, just how cool that was, and that moment was special. But then, like, 40 laps later, I was nosed into the inside wall, and that day wasn't so special anymore. <laughs> it was, that's what it was. So, Joey, this is not the first time you've experienced it. You experienced it when you walked in here to start the 2019 season after winning the 2018 championship. But how cool is it when you walk in that garage area and that number 22 hauler is in that number one spot? <laughs> you know what I'm And that number about. 22 <laughs> car is sitting in that number one garage spot. It yes. has to be pretty cool. It's a little sense of pride there, right? Like, is uh, that spot in Daytona is reserved for last year's champion. Yes. Right? Like, and there is something that goes along with that that's just kind of, yeah. <laughs> like, it feels good, you know, to, to be able to, to be in that spot. It's the closest one to the restroom. That's a great thing as well. So. <laughs> Membership <laughs> a lot has of good its things privileges. Here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hey, you, you talk about winning the Daytona 500. You, you're, you're a champion. Does that add pressure because you've done it and the expectations that come with those titles? Or does it take some pressure off because you've got all of that on your resume and you don't have to worry about checking those boxes? Yeah, to be honest, I just don't let it affect me, period, like at all. Um, I, 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 I keep my goal consistent every single year. It's not X amount of wins or X amount of top fives. It's win the championship. That's it. Like, that is success is winning a championship. So it, the goal never changes throughout the throughout the years. It's to set it as high as you possibly can. And that was it right there. Yeah, 22 and 22. So what's the slogan for 23? <laughs> never enough. <laughs> never enough. And I'll tell you why. So I went to uh, I went to Ford headquarters, met with Farley, the CEO. And the first thing he said to me was, well, next year probably won't be as good. You're probably not as hungry as you were. You've got a championship and all this stuff. And I was like, Wait, what? And like, I kind of took it a little personal. I was kind of mad about it. I left mad. And I was like, I think he knew what he was doing there. It was a good move. And, you know, you start doing more interviews and more people are talking about post championship season slumps. And I was like, I don't want that. Like, now I'm, now I got a chip on my shoulder. Now I'm like, we, we got something to, to, to prove. And so, never enough is, is what we got behind. So, you'll see hats and stickers running around our race team everywhere uh, that say never enough on it. It's an awesome slogan. I mean, it, it really is. And, and you look at everything you've accomplished in your career, most of it has been with Roger Pinsky as your car owner. What is it like celebrating big moments in motorsports with him? It, it's very special because, I mean, you think of his you know, over 50 years of racing experience uh, to be part of, right? They have this amazing heritage center where they have, you know, all the the guys that have raced for Roger in the past, right? All the trophies and pictures and helmets and all. This. And then you see your stuff in there. And it's like, man, that's so cool. It's not that I just drove for Roger, but like I got some big wins there with them too, right? Like I'm part of the, the group. And I just feel like that's so special uh, to be a part of. Roger's going to win, right? Like you always want to surround yourself with people that are better than you. Well, Roger's better than most of the people around here right? <laughs> on earth, right? Like he's just really, really good at what he does. And you know you're going to win. And you know you're going to be smarter when you're around him. So uh, to have that success together for a long period of time um, with Shell on the car for that long too, like it's, it's a special thing to have. The need for speed, it must never be enough when it comes to the Logano clan. <laughs> Saw on social media the other day your older son, Hudson, pushing your one-year-old daughter, Amelia, in her walker. Yeah. And she doesn't, doesn't look like it's bothering her, and I think we've got it in slow motion right yeah. there. It was much, much faster <laughs> she, than that. She's a, she don't care. She's, got a, she's pretty tough with two older brothers already. Um, yeah, the, the speed is, is there. This morning we were on the beach, and Hudson has his little electric bicycle, and He's running around. We already got in trouble with the, the Coast Guard or not the Coast Guard, the beach, whatever, beach lifeguard police. people, beach police. Yeah, they got us this morning already. So it was, uh, but yeah, it's, 
it's there. Speed is there. I'm we sure, like we like wheels. I'm sure the same thing happens at your house. Brittany yells at you for the kids' behavior, like she did with Larry, and like my <laughs> or like Larry's wife did with him, and like my wife does uh, with me. Hey, you're trying to become the sixth champ to come back and win the 500 the next year. That would be cool. Good luck doing that on Sunday. Okay? It would be very cool. Yeah, that'd be a good yeah. day.